Boys and girls, look who has finally arrived. This is my Hapa's Judge guitar. As you might remember, more than a year ago, I went all the way to Berlin to find the most brutal sounding and evil looking guitar for low, lower and even lower tunings. What I wanted was a six string guitar with a 28 inch scale for the really deep chugga chugga chugga. And at Hapas we went through every parameter that might define the tone of a guitar to find the perfect instrument for me. Today I want to introduce you to this guitar. I want to tell you what I love about it, but I also want to tell you what I think could be improved. But first of all, why don't we have a listen? I tuned it down to F sharp. I dialed in a really seriously nasty and slimy guitar tone and played some stupid riffs. Here we go. That was fun, I can tell you, that song was fun. Dun, 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 dun. Um, anyway, let me walk you through the specs of this guitar first. Let me pick it up. And here it is, what a beauty. I gotta say, it is beautiful, I gotta say that. It really looks fucking amazing. Anyway, let me quickly walk you through the specs. This is the Judge 628. Six, because it's six strings, and I really can't handle more than that. And 28, because of the extended scale of 28 inch. It has a ash body, it has a five piece maple walnut neck, bolt on construction, string body through, how do you call that? Uh, what else, a rich light fretboard. And we only have one pickup, because that's all you need for Juga Juga Juga, and it kind of looks cool. Uh, one pickup, and this is the Hapas Leviathan passive pickup with a ceramic magnet. And we will talk about that pickup later, because, by the way, pickups matter, as you will hear later in this video. But I don't want to talk about the specs too much. If you want to know more about that and why we made which decision about this guitar, you can have a look at the other, at my other Hapas guitar video later. There's a link here and there's a link below. Um, when I was in Berlin, that's 40 minutes or something of guitar nerd talk. We really go through all the different parameters and um, and yeah, so, so if you need more, you will find it down there. There are two things that I really love about this guitar. I gotta say that. The first thing is how it feels and how it plays. It is, it plays just so great. Like anybody who picks up this guitar here in the control room, you know, I have musicians coming recording here all the time. Everybody picks up the guitar and everybody goes like, wow, this plays so nicely. And it does not feel like a baritone guitar. And that is so important. It doesn't feel like, you know, like neck heavy or something. And it, it just plays like a normal guitar. I don't know how they do this, but it really, really feels, feels super balanced and super nice. It's also very light. It's very light. The neck is lovely. I'm I'm more of a of a thinner neck guy. Maybe not Ibanez, but close to that. And this neck is thicker for sure. But it's just a very good, very playable middle of the road. I don't know. Like everybody loves it. Everybody picks up the guitar and goes like, "Wow, this plays so nicely." And then they go like, "How deep is that?" And then I say, "Hey, it's F sharp or E, like one octave under standard tuning." And then everybody goes like, "Wow." So. Um, Hapas really managed to create an instrument that feels great. And I gotta tell you, whenever people do like guitar tests and compare cheap to 
uh, or more affordable to more expensive guitars and go like, hey, it doesn't sound like 10 times better or something. Um, guitars are very much about how they feel for me. Do they feel good? Do they inspire me? You know, and that is very often a, a big difference between cheaper guitars and more expensive guitars. I got to say that this guitar feels great and yeah, kind of like inspires me. It's just it's a, it's a piece of art. It's nice. The other thing I loved about the guitar and that like I noticed that immediately when I played it for the first time, just acoustically without an amp, when I brought it home was how responsive, how direct and how immediate this guitar sounds. It sounds super direct and super twangy. It has this piano wire-like quality, like the low string really goes like twang, twang, dang, dang, dang. Uh, that's, that's what I love about good bass guitars as well. So, and also some people notice it when they played it here. It was like, wow, this sounds like really in your face. And I think that's the whole point, or that's what we try to achieve with this guitar to make it as fast and as responsive as possible. So those super deep palm mutes actually cut through. I don't know if you can hear this uh, through, the, through the microphone here and the strings are not really fresh, but let's try. Dangle, dangle. All right, so the guitar feels great, plays great, sounds great acoustically. Let's talk about the things that I'm not perfectly happy with. There are two things. One is cosmetics or something visual, and there's one thing about the, the sound of this guitar. But let's start with the first thing, and that is the look of the back of the guitar, because I expected this to be a lot brighter, and it, it looks pretty dark, and I expected more of a contrast between the back and the front. And the Hapas guys actually agreed. They said like, ah, this turned out quite dark. Um, is this a deal breaker? Not really, not, not a big deal. I forgot to mention that, wait a minute. That this red wood, this is actually the color of the original wood. Watch the other video. Looks so fucking amazing. But you know, this uh, could have been a little more extreme. When I first plugged in this guitar into my Kemper, I think, I was a little underwhelmed. I gotta say that. Because I immediately noticed the low end is not as tight as I'm used to from my other guitars, which all have EMG active pickups. I could also notice a incre an increased high end um, of the Hapas guitar, of the Leviathan pickup, which I kinda liked, but I was having a problem with the low end. There was more output, and there was more bass, and it was just driving the amps in a different way. The distortion wasn't as tight. So I was like, ah, it's not perfect. So I felt like it, the, 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 the acoustic tone of the guitar didn't really translate into the amp, if that makes sense. So I called the guys from Harpas and said like, hey, I think the pickup is wrong. The pickup is wrong. We need to change this. And they were like, yeah, no problem. We've got several pickups to choose from. If you have too much low end, no problem. We can, we can fix that. No problem. So that was one of the reasons why this video took so long, by the way, <laughs> because I wasn't perfectly happy with the pickup. And I thought like, yeah, maybe I got to go to Berlin to try different pickups or they got to send me different pickups and then we forgot about this and blah, blah, blah. But then I found another solution and it's kind of embarrassing that it took me so long to come up with this because the problem was too much low end and a too high output. And so I was like, why don't I just lower the pickup? Maybe that has an effect because... I usually have my EMGs pretty close to the strings and people believe that, hey, active pickups, EMG, super hot output. Not really. And I, I believe they, they sound great if they're really close to the strings. So I had the Leviathan pickup set up the same way and that wasn't the right thing for me. By the way, if I'm talking about these tones that I'm gonna show you in a minute, by the way, we're gonna compare those pickups. Um, it's, it is a taste thing. It's not about good or bad. I just like a tight low end. That's all. Um, anyway, when I lowered the pickup, when I when I adjusted the height, things really changed. It's like getting closer to a microphone. You get more low end. So when it got lower, the, the, the low end just tightened. And of course, because of more distance, um, the level was also, the output was also reduced, which so had like 
two effects in once. First of all, because of more distance, the pickup itself sounds different, but then again, it also drives the amp in a different way and makes the amp behave differently. It's not a night and day difference, but it is an important difference for me because I can hear it and I can feel it. And that's what I want to show you now, because I made some experiments with my EMG pickups and with the Hapas pickup in different heights to find the perfect solution. So let's have a listen. So I just played a pretty simple riff to compare the palm mutes and not even at a low uh, F sharp or E. I think this is something like a B or A, I haven't, haven't checked. So this down here is my Fernandez guitar with EMGs and this is the Hapas guitar with the pickup really close. It's called Hapas High. So let's start with the Fernandez and the EMG. That was my reference. So that is a pretty mid forward tone, nice tight low end, but still fat. So let's switch, let's just loop this section and let's switch from the EMG to the Hapas guitar with the Leviathan pickup and yeah, listen to the low end. You hear that? Way more low end on the palm music. And that's tighter. And the EMGs also have this honk, 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 honk that you might like or not. Focus on the on the attack. The cock, cock, cock. And that's something I actually like better about the Hapas guitar that it doesn't have this weird one K in there. With this sound, by the way, I'm just playing into Bogren's amp knob right now, the same setting. So very simple, very simple setup. But there is also a pretty big difference in the higher frequencies that you don't really hear with this sound. So I want to switch to this one here, the Kerry King plugin from Softube. First, let's use the same loop and listen to the low end one more time, starting with the Fernandez. <laughs> Big difference. So now let's go here to the end of the riff where I play some open chords. And now I want you to focus on the higher frequencies. Start with the Fernandez. I mean, listen to that difference. How much grind the Hapas guitar has compared to the Fernandez. And wow, that's a huge difference. I think it's just driving the Marshall harder and it has more highs. And that's why the Harpas guitar has this grind that you might like or not. So depending on your rig, depending on the ambient that you play, you, will, you can get pretty massive differences. Have another listen. EMG. <laughs> So anybody who tells me pickups don't matter, listen to this. If you don't hear the difference, you're lucky because then you don't have to spend any money on other pickups. Fine. Um, so it feels like the EMG has like a low cut and a high cut and really focuses on the mids and has some kind of honk, honk, honk in there. Whereas the Leviathan pickup um, just sounds extended, extended in the lows and extended in the highs. Uh, very, very interesting and big difference. For me, it was a little too much in the low end, so I adjusted the pickup and, and, and increased the distance to the strings until I was happy with the output of the pickup and with the overall tone. So let's have another listen. And now I'm gonna compare the high pickup setting and the low pickup setting of the Leviathan. Let's go to Bogren's M knob one more time. Start with the high. And you see, quite a bit more mid forward and also, yeah, tighter in the lows. And 
and a lot closer to the EMG, my reference. <laughs> So the lows sound pretty similar now, there's just this massive difference in the highs. So let's just go back to the Kerry King amp where you can hear this a little better and compare the Fernandez to the final position of the Leviathan. And you can see it still sounds a lot more grindy. This is interesting because all those details matter. Um, is this a night and day difference? In the high end, actually, yes, it's a big difference. Pickups make a difference. And that is why I have decided to check out even more pickups for this guitar because, because I'm a nerd, because I like trying stuff. So in two weeks, I will be in Berlin and I'm gonna visit the Harpers guys again. I can't bring my guitar, but we will use a very similar Harpers guitars and they will prepare, I think three or even more different pickups. And I will record the same riff with three different pickups. And I will be back with another video where I show you the differences between the Hapas pickups. We will analyze that and then hopefully find the perfect solution for my guitar. But don't get me wrong, it sounds great. Adjusting the pickup height changed everything for me. And it's, it's so interesting sometimes, you know, people buy gear, they buy amps, they whatever. And sometimes it's just something like that you know, get the right pickup height and that will change the tone, you know, just enough to make you perfectly happy. And um, so right now it's like, I have one guitar that sounds a little more grindy and the Fernandez sounds a little warmer maybe and tighter and a little more mid-focused. So I have two cool options. Do they sound the same? No, they don't because guitars make a difference and pickups make a difference. I think it's important to really, really, care about every every single part in the signal chain to make sure that your tone is as close to perfect as possible. All right, one more thing. If you are interested in the guitar tone that I used for the song that I played in the beginning, I will play it one more time at the end of this video. Let me know because I, I dialed it in with just one plugin with a pretty interesting pedal and amp combination that you wouldn't expect to sound modern metal at all, I guess. Let me know, I could do a pretty quick yeah, video about that. But first I will be back in a few weeks with a pickup shootout video, comparing different Harpas pickups. Um, again, I'll be in, in Berlin in two weeks, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, please leave a comment. Uh, which one is your favorite? How do you like this guitar? And um, I don't know, what else? Anything you wanna tell me? Yeah, feel free to talk about it. I'm here, I'm listening. Anyway, thanks for watching. This was fun. Time to go back to the real studio work again. Thanks for watching. I see you in hell, motherfuckers. Bye-bye.